Hello, I'm Svetlana Drobatenko and it's time for English. Today we'll learn how to write a problem-solution essay using notes. You're expected to write such type of essay in Cambridge B2 first exam. So, welcome to the lesson. Think, what dangers are involved in talking to people you don't know well or at all in the forums or chat rooms? Identity theft, financial fraud, hackers, or even cyberbullying. Today we'll talk about the problem of cyberbullying and find the possible solutions to this thorny issue. What do you know about cyberbullying? It's repeated behavior aimed at scaring, angering, or shaming those who are targeted. We read on the UNICEF site. To know more about this problem, scan this QR code. What can we do to protect ourselves from this type of bullying? What might be the solutions to this problem? Leaving it without respond? Saving the evidence? Reaching out for help? Search for the recommendations. One day, they could be useful. And now we'll explore the sample essay. Let's read the task and rubrics. An increasing number of children are becoming victims of cyberbullying. Can something be done to prevent it from happening? And in the notes, we can see the ideas to be used. Information, skills and you should add your own idea. And now, read the sample essay and find the parts that correspond to the notes. So, what are the numbers of the paragraphs that contain the ideas from the notes? The second, third and fourth. The main part of the essay, right? Good job! Let me give you here a useful tip. Do not rewrite the words from the notes. Better, paraphrase them. How? Let's take a look at the notes and essay again. In the notes, we can see the word information, right? Can you find it in the second paragraph? No, but we can find such words as to inform and awareness. So, don't rewrite the words from the notes. Use their synonyms or derivatives. Derivatives are the forms of words made or developed from the root word. For example, from the verb to inform, we made a noun information, an adjective informative, and an adverb informatively. Or another example, from the word to manage, what noun can we make? A manager, right, and an adjective, manageable. Great job! And now we are going to focus on content and organization of the essay. Read the essay again and find the answers to these three questions. What is the writer's opinion on the topic? And underline the parts of the essay that indicate this. The second question is, what is the third idea that the writer comes up with? And question number three, what is the idea of each paragraph? Let's check. The first question. The writer believes that cyberbullying is a serious problem, but the solution for it can be found. In which paragraphs is the opinion given? Right. In the first and the last ones. 
Question number two. The third idea is that children should be encouraged to report cases of cyberbullying, similar to the ones we mentioned before, right? Good. And question number three, the ideas of the paragraphs. You can find them on the screen. Let's focus on the register and style now. Is the essay written in formal or informal style? Let's take a look at the highlighted parts. Long sentences with passive grammar constructions, diverse vocabulary words without contractions. So, what can you say? Formal or informal? Formal, without a doubt. And now let's find in the essay the formal equivalents of these phrases. Check your answers. Did you underline the same phrases? Great job! Now we are moving to the final part of the essay analysis linking words and phrases. Look at the highlighted words and phrases in the essay. Which of them are used to list points and which to emphasize? Done? Let's check. We start every paragraph in the main part with the linkers to list points. And we emphasize with such phrases as in fact, actually, have the writing task about the amount of time in front of computers as your home assignment. So, today we learned how to write a problem-solution essay. And remember, there is no use talking about the problem unless you talk about the solution, right? And our lesson is over. Stay tuned and see you soon!